I'd like to acknowledge our presence here on the unceded territory of the Hunkaminam speaking Musqueam people. Welcome to the Audrey and Harry Hawthorne Library and Archives. We're a department in the Museum of Anthropology. We're a bit different in that not only are, do we have an archives and a library, but we also include within the department the oral history and language lab, and we um, manage digital media projects and digital media um, for the museum as a whole. The library space is um, a special space in here in that it, it doesn't circulate, but it's used by a wide variety of researchers. The library collection strengths are in the areas of museology, uh, world material culture, and specifically um, ceramics and textiles from around the world. We also have a very strong collection about uh, Northwest Coast material culture as well. Um, so a lot of people will come specifically to this library to use some of those resources. There isn't a lot of duplication between our library and what's held at UBC Library. It's not just the, the physical space that we deal with here at the library, we're also liaising with other departments. So one thing I'm currently working on is to um, collect the staff research and then try to upload as much as possible of that into CIRCLE, which is the university's institutional repository. And we also provide media services through the Oral History and Language Lab. The lab itself was primarily designed as a recording studio. There are significant barriers to bring people in and there's an increased level of ability within communities to record on their own. So we've taken on digitization as one of our primary um, services and that's one of the ways that I'm um, really quite incorporated with the uh, library and archives. We've run some very successful projects in digitizing and training in digitization using our archival hol media holdings. The archives at the Museum of Anthropology contains institutional records of the museum. The museum also holds private records or manuscript holdings. I think the most important thing is that we're not just a library, we're not just an archives, we're not just an oral history language lab or digital asset management information center, is that we all work together and that there's synergies between our four areas so we can really um, provide a comprehensive uh, resource and center and services to not just the public, the university community, but to the staff and to any of our users. We are interested and mandated to centralize digital media management and access. So I manage a digital asset management system which processes all of the images that you see on the uh, museums in gallery system, the Moa Cat, or the collections online system, or on the reciprocal research network, our contributions to that, as well as um, through the oral history and language lab, any born digital media that comes in from digital uh, video cameras or audio recordings, we also manage all of that material as well. One of the things we're trying to do is to make our workflows work with the various people that we work with, with the archives or with the curators, with public programming, to make sure that we're um, making media that's preservable, well-documented, and that we can provide appropriate access given that a lot of our media has consent issues. We try to balance library and archivists um, ethos to um, support open access and, and the easy transfer of knowledge um, with our need to respect the protocols of um, the communities that we work with as well. So in terms of intellectual property, we go beyond copyright, we deal with informed consent, we um, work with communities to make sure that their information is being shared in appropriate ways.